because uh, who who broke you in? Who, where did you start? I broke. I was supposed to so break it's in. Like how how porn does that start? So who broke you in? That's <laughs> it. That's it. Couple of wrestlers talking. Yeah. Oh, well, Nancy, who broke you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't listen to that kid. Um, I'm gonna, Johnny Rods. Johnny Rods. Are you kidding me? Holy baby Jesus. <laughs> That's who broke. Johnny broke in me and my partner. Ah, oh, Johnny's a great man. I love him to death. Yep. I got a long history with yep. Johnny. <laughs> yep. He, you know, at the very, just said, I got, I want to talk uh, to Bully, but uh, yeah, no, I'm going to talk with you. Uh, but uh, there's a great story there with Johnny Rods, and we threw all the love in the world out there because that's the man that made me get my first main event is Johnny Rods. And I got to tell a story. I come into Los Angeles, and Johnny Rods is in Los Angeles. He's going as the, like, the sheik, and he's got like somebody shot the curtains at the Days Inn rug on his head. Yeah, whoa, 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 whatever. And here I come, I'm like 16, no, 17. His name was Java Rook. Java Rook, you know, don't you? <laughs> yeah. And I, the, promo, the uh, booker comes to me, uh, his name is Leo Garibaldi. He says, he looks at me, you know, I'm skinny. I'm maybe 173 pounds and killed bagpipes. We're predominantly Mexican. And what am I going to do with this? And he says, kid, I'm going to give you a big break. And it was TV. He says, I want you to go out there with Java Rook. Don't lay a hand on him. Huh? Don't lay a hand on him. And I go, ah, here we go again. Some guy's going to beat the saw dog out of me again. And they did. They liked to beat me up. I go in there, and he beats me up. <laughs> he comes back with wrong. Can't you throw punches? <laughs> Never mind, sir. <laughs> no answers. One of them, no answers, right? You know? So, okay. Come around to TV the next week. Leo Garibaldi, he was a genius booker. He, there used to be a commercial on a big billboard back then. I believe it was Marlboro. And it was a cowboy, a rough-looking Clint Eastwood kind of guy. And he had a Marlboro in his mouth and a black eye. And it said, I'd rather fight than switch. And Leo Garibaldi went and got me a T-shirt that said, I'd rather switch than fight and made me Jabba Rook's manager. Wow. That's exactly how. And from there, I can do anything. <laughs> Honest. <laughs> Yeehaw. We yep. just rub one off here thinking about it. You <laughs> yep. know, so you're, you're my family too then. Thank you. Thank He's you. beautiful, man. And the thing about Johnny, the story that we always hear about Johnny, which you know, it's a very respectful story, is Johnny was never, you know, he was never the main event guy, but he was the guy that you earned your stripes yes, with in the ring. Yeah. At any given moment, he could tie you into a knot. You betcha. And <laughs> you were going to pay your dues on the spot. Absolutely. And you know, he was a gentleman, but he had no problem if you weren't of the right attitude. Right. You know, he could straighten that right out. Yep. Uh, we both love him, don't we? Yeah. So, okay. Great man. I, yeah, yeah. Wow, oh, I just got to breathe on that for a second. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. So then I know now. I know where you're coming from. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm proud to know you. My name's Rod. <laughs> Bully. Nice to meet you, sir. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you.